Hold your teddy bear near. Prepare your imagination for some fun. Oh, oh, has the bedtime story begun? Nope. You're just in time. <sighs> CBB's Bedtime Story. Hello. My name is Katie. I'm just tucking the mice into bed. They are nice and cosy and happy. Tonight's bedtime story is all about a little mouse looking for the perfect place to call home. The story is called Where Happiness Lives and is written by Barry Timms and illustrated by Greg Abbott. This is Grey Mouse in his sweet little home. He is happy and safe here and never alone. It has just enough room for each mouse to have fun and plenty of windows that let in the sun. There's a garden outside with a shady oak tree. I'm lucky, says Mouse. This home's perfect for me. But one day, out walking, Mouse spots a large door. It belongs to a house that is hard to ignore. There's oodles of space, a balcony too. The owner, a white mouse, looks out at the view. Good morning, calls Grey Mouse. I live down the way, in a sweet little home that seemed fine till today. But your home's much bigger. I wish mine was grand. You must be the happiest mouse in the land. The mouse on the balcony heaves a big sigh. I was happy once. Then a house caught my eye. From my favourite chair, I gazed up at its tower. And now I'm more jealous with each passing hour. It's simply amazing, like nothing I've seen. Please show me, says Grey Mouse. It sounds like a dream. So they scamper along, never pausing to look at the glittering fishes that leap in the brook. And they don't see the dance two bright butterflies share or hear the soft bird song or sniff the sweet air. There's a mountain to climb, but the mice don't give in. The house at the top makes their furry heads spin. It's a house like no other. This home has it all. A garden with fountains, a banqueting hall. A dome and a spire, both designed to impress. The brown mouse who greets them has jewels on her dress. Welcome, she cries. Won't you please step inside? There's lots to explore here and I'll be your guide. She serves them fine pastries on plates made of gold, then leads them through hallways past treasures untold. The games room, the parlour, my room for guitars. And this is the dome where I gaze at the stars. Oh my, sighed the other two mice in dismay, the last of their happiness drifting away. We once were contented, but now we feel poor. The happiest mouse is the mouse who has more. The brown mouse says nothing, but points to a stand where a telescope rests looking over the land. And there through its lens is a sweet little home. It doesn't have fountains, a spire or a dome. It doesn't have treasures. There isn't the space, but each little mouse has a smile on its face. It's lonely up here, says the wealthy brown mouse, but it brightens my day to just look at that house. What a treasure it is, all oh, the joy that it gives, for that is a house where true happiness lives. It's my home, <laughs> cries Grey Mouse. Well, who would have guessed that a mouse in a mansion could think that I'm blessed? Whatever your home, it is happy indeed, if you love what you have, and you have what you need. How true, cheers the white mouse, his eyes shining bright. I don't need a high tower, my home is just right. The brown mouse brings cocoa and sweet cherry pies. And they all gather round as the moon starts to rise. Then the three of them gaze at the stars. 
hand in hand, the happiest mice in the whole of the land. Oh, it really was beautiful ever after. The little mice realised that it doesn't matter what your house looks like as long as it's a happy home. Now let's gaze up at the stars and drift off to sleep. And I'll see you soon for another bedtime story. Night night. Bye.